Hello and welcome to this video on how to get an Excel data file ready for use in the M Plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. I'm an instructor and statistical consultant with Quantfish. On this channel, I present weekly statistics tutorials, usually related to multivariate statistics, such as factor models, structural equation models, path analysis, multi-level analysis, or latent class analysis. If this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and to check out the description for additional Quantfish resources and a link to my weekly stats newsletter that you can sign up for. In this video here, I want to show you how you can get a data set ready for use in the M Plus software. Oftentimes, we have data in a format that Microsoft Excel can read or we have the data set in Microsoft Excel. So what steps do you have to take in order to make your data set ready and export it in a format that M Plus can easily process? You can see here I have an example data file open that is a CSV file. It works equally well when you have an um, XLS um, kind of or XLSX um, kind of data file in the um, Excel format. And so in this data file here, I have my variable names in the first row. And then I have the actual scores here in those columns. And you can see there are also some missing scores. Now, one thing that I prefer to do when I use M plus is to have a numerical missing value code for missing data, because I find that M plus has an easier time handling missing values in a data set when they are coded with a numeric missing value code. So I wouldn't leave these blank. And so the first thing that I then would do is I would highlight the columns in my Excel data file and then replace those empty or those fill those empty cells that indicate missing values with a missing value code of my choice. And I can easily do this by pressing Control H, which is the find and replace option. So you uh, press the buttons on your keyboard, Control and H, and then this um, dialog here opens. And so now what you can do is you can just leave the find what space empty because you want Excel to find the ones that are empty. And then you put your numeric missing value code of your choice in the field that says replace with. So in this case, I'm going to choose the value of negative nine to code my missing score. So now all the empty cells will be replaced with a score of negative nine when I hit the replace all button down here below in the left um, left hand corner. And Excel then says all done. We made 1427 replacements. I can say OK and I can close this dialog and then you can see no more empty cells. I have negative nines everywhere where I previously had missing values. And so that'll be helpful in M plus to have this numeric missing value code. The next thing is that M plus does not like to have variable names in the data file. And now the variable names appear here right now in the first row. And so we need to get rid of those. So a good idea would be to copy those variable names in that proper order in which they appear here. And then you paste them into the M plus syntax in your variable command under the names list. So save those, copy those, and then paste them into your M plus syntax. But you want to get rid of them here in this data file before you export the data for M plus. And so an easy way to do it is to right click here on that first row and then just simply click on delete and then the whole data matrix gets shifted up and the first row is gone. You only have the scores anymore, no more variable names. And so at this point we can then save the file in a format that M plus can easily read. Right now it's in CSV format. So what we want to do is we want to say file and then save as and then we can pick a different format um, other than the CSV format. And so one that I prefer to use in M plus is the tab delimited star dot TXT format. So text format, tab delimited, 
and the, the file extension is .txt. So the file will then be called math.txt. And so this is the file that then you want to import into M plus using the data command in M plus. You would say data colon file equals math.txt. And so that's then the format that M plus will read. So let's save this data file. So you hit the save button and then you have this file in txt format and it's going to be saved in the same folder and here in this case in which I had my CSV file previously. So you can find it in that folder um, as a new file and then you would tell M plus this is the data file math.txt and in the variable command you would define the variable names, make sure they're in the right order in which uh, so that they correspond to the columns here in the right order and then M plus should have no trouble reading your data file in that text format. I hope you found this video useful. I also have a video here on this channel where I show how you can check the proper data import in M plus. So what analyses you can run to make sure that everything was imported correctly. So check out that video as well. There are also many other videos here on this channel on getting started with M plus using it for structural equation models and many other types of statistical analyses. So feel free to check that out. Don't forget to check out the description for additional resources and workshops and leave a comment in the comment section if you like and I'll see you next time.